Now, chapter eleven. It is about menstruation. What is the meaning of menstruation? Menstruation means we will study two concepts. The concept of area and perimeter. And third and most important thing is the volume. Okay, students. So I will teach you how to find area and perimeter of a two-dimensional shape, and how to measure the volume of a given three-dimensional shape. The chapter is very interesting. Now, before solving the questions, I want to tell you few concepts. which will be the foundation of this chapter what is the meaning of area so students see if we have a two dimensional geometrical shape suppose we have a rectangle and we have to find the area then the meaning of area is the measurement of the region bounded by this shape which region is bounded this the shaded part ye jo part maine shade kiya hai इसका अगर मेजरमेंट हम फाइंड करें तो ये इसका एरिया होगा एंड नेक्स्ट इज पेरीमीटर सो पेरीमीटर इज वेरी सिंपल पेरीमीटर मीन्स द लेंथ ऑफ वन कंप्लीट राउंड अराउंड शेप और यू कैन से द सम ऑफ ऑल द साइड्स ऑफ ए शेप हियर वी हैव फोर साइड्स इफ वी फाइंड द सम ऑफ ऑल द साइड्स वी गेट अ पेरीमीटर और इफ वी फिनिश a complete one round around this shape this is the perimeter so simply we can say that sum of the all sides because jab hum iska ek round complete karenge to hum iski sides ko hi visit karenge to unki jo total length hogi wo iska perimeter hoga next is the concept of volume the volume is used in three dimensional shapes not in two dimensional now what is the meaning of three dimensional you have heard about cube cuboid cylinder cone sphere these are three dimensional because they occupy some space suppose you have a water bottle then if someone asked to measure the quantity of water that is held in the bottle then we have to tell in the terms of volume that it is 1 liter 2 liter or some what else so ye conditions volume ki hoti hai okay so volume is related to three dimensional shapes and area and perimeter is related to two dimensional shapes and with the questions i will tell you the formulas and with some techniques to solve the questions so let us start the exercise as you know i am going to solve the ncert part ncert folder now start exercise 11.1 11.1 First question a square and a rectangular field with measurement as given in the figure have the same perimeter which field has a larger area so students yahan par hame larger area find karna hai to area hum tabhi find kar sakte hain jab hame sides ke bare mein knowledge ho first figure is given this is a square second figure is a rectangle now it is given that this is 60 meter This is 80 meter, but it is also given that both have the same perimeter. So, perimeter दोनों का same है, तो area किसका bigger होगा? Now how to find? So perimeter. We just write perimeter of square is. You know that the perimeter is 4 into side, so it is 4 into 60 meter. That is 240 meter, and perimeter of rectangle that is 2 into l plus b okay 2 into l plus b this is the formula of perimeter in 7th class you studied about this concept 2 into length plus breadth so we put the values which we know it is 2 into l l is 80 meter okay and plus b we don't know the value of b c the perimeter is the perimeter of both these is equal it means 
जो पैरीमीटर स्क्वायर की है वही पैरीमीटर रेक्टेंगल की होगी तो हम ये कह सकते हैं कि सिंस टू इंटू एटी मीटर प्लस बी इक्वल टू टू फोर्टी मीटर बोथ दीज वैल्यूज आर इक्वल बिकॉज इट इज गिवन दैट द पेरीमीटर आर सेम नाउ वी हैव टू फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ बी सो एटी मीटर प्लस बी इज इक्वल टू टू फोर्टी अपॉन टू दैट इज वन ट्वेंटी मीटर नाउ बी इज वन ट्वेंटी मीटर माइनस एटी मीटर सो द ब्रेड इज फोर्टी मीटर ओके and ultimately we have found the breadth also so we can just write here 40 meter diagram hum yahan likh sakte hain 40 meter jisse hamare liye samajhna easy hoga ki hame kya karna hai so how to use this data now it is required to find the larger area and we know that area of square is that is side side into side okay that is side square so the length of side is 60 now it is 60 meter whole square and obviously it is 3600 square meter and area of rectangle is just l into b so the value of l l was 80 80 meter into 40 meter so the value is 8 for the 32 Thirty-two hundred square meter. Okay, students, you can check which will is bigger. So the larger area is three six zero zero square meter. It means the square has larger area. So we can just write figure A has larger area. So question was easy, but you have to understand the concept of area and perimeter okay students note it down this question is very important question number 2 so let me tell you how to solve this mrs kaushik has a square plot with the measurement is shown in the figure to aapko figure ko bahut acche se dekhna hai students to chaliye main yahan par diagram draw karte hain there is a square see it is square and inside it it is a house a house is built inside this okay and the dimension of this plot is just 25 meter because it is a square so all sides are same and a house is built so the dimensions of the house are and the shape of the house is rectangular okay so it is a house now the dimensions are 20 meter and it is 15 meter all these values are given in the book so students you can see in the textbook and it study the figure carefully and here it is a garden this is a garden so we have to find the cost of developing a garden around the house at the rate of 35 rupees 55 पर स्क्वायर मीटर तो अब इस क्वेश्चन में क्या करना है सबसे पहले हम इस गार्डन का एरिया फाइंड करेंगे उस एरिया के बाद हम उसको 55 से मल्टीप्लाई करेंगे सो हाउ टू फाइंड द एरिया ऑफ दिस गार्डन नाउ सी फर्स्ट वी विल फाइंड द एरिया ऑफ द स्क्वायर विट इज आउटर शेप एंड देन विल सब्टेक्ट द एरिया ऑफ हाउस देन विल गेट द एरिया ऑफ गार्डन सो जस्ट राइट area of garden equal to area of plot minus area of house so it is area of plot is 25 meter into 25 meter because the area of square is side into side and the area of house that is rectangular in shape the area is length into breadth so it is 20 meter into 15 meter question is very easy now it is 625 square meter minus 300 square meter and the answer is 
325 square meter it is not the final answer yes if area ka difference hai so this is area of garden now total cost of developing garden is rupees so it is given that rupees 25 rupees 55 per square meter तो हम उस कॉस्ट को इससे मल्टीप्लाई करेंगे बिकॉज वो कॉस्ट पर स्क्वायर मीटर की है इट इज रुपीज थ्री ट्वेंटी फाइव इंटू फिफ्टी फाइव नाउ सी वी कैन जस्ट मल्टीप्लाई ओके यू कैन डू दिस मल्टीप्लीकेशन इन योर रफ कॉपी एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू परफॉर्म दिस मल्टीप्लीकेशन विदाउट डूइंग एन रफ वर्क so we'll use a trick of multiplication with 11 to aap isko aise bhi likh sakte hain rupees 325 into 5 into 11 ab hum easily find kar sakte hain students because 55 ki table zaruri nahi ki hame acche se yaad ho this is 55 ja 25 and 52 ja 10 plus 2 12 one carry it is 16 now easily you can multiply Just write first and last digit. Start adding the digits from right hand side. देखो five plus two seven, two plus six eight, and six plus one seven. So the answer is rupees seventeen thousand eight hundred and seventy five. Okay, students, it is the answer. So the question is very easy and very important from exam point of view. हमें क्या करना है garden की जो develop करने की cost वो find करनी है. But उसके पहले area find करना पड़ेगा. And you have to understand how to find the area of this garden just find the area of a square that is the outer shape then find the area of inner shape that is the house find the difference of these areas and then multiply by that answer with the given cost you get the answer so students i hope you understood the questions okay solve the remaining questions of last exercise that was exercise 9.5 and in the next video i will tell you how to solve the remaining questions of exercise 11.11 .11. Have a good day.